I'm showing you how to get Doomsday Client for Minecraft 1.12.2. So to get it, you want to head over to Doomsday Client's official website, which is doomsdayclient.com. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website, you want to click on the Download Now button, and then on download once again and the download will automatically start i have doomsday client the name is always going to be randomized so yours might have a different name than mine anyways what you want to do when you have this file is first off make sure that you have the java platform made by oracle installed you'll already have this if you've ever modded minecraft before or used something like forge or fabric if you don't have it or you're not sure then i will link that down in the description below anyways you can simply double click on this file to open it however if that doesn't work you can right click on it go to open with and then select the java platform which is the one I said you needed. Anyways, this client can be injected with this big blue button over here, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But you can actually also install it. So to install it, we can go over to this install tab, choose our Minecraft version, and in my case, I'll choose 1.12.2. As you can see, you can also install it for Forge if you wish to do so, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. It doesn't change much though. Anyways, I'll select 1.12.2 and then I'll click on install just like this. As you can see, it installs really quickly and it has now been successfully installed. With that done, I can close up this and open up the Minecraft launcher. So now on the Minecraft launcher, you want to open up the installations tab and see if you can find it. If you can't, then you want to go over to installations over here, click on new installation, and then under versions, search for one called Doomsday. Make sure you spell it correctly, of course. Anyways, here I can select the installed 1.12.2 Doomsday, and I'll just call this Doomsday 1.12.2. Anyways, once you've done that, you can click on Create, and if you didn't have it here yet, then now after creating it, you will, as you can see, right over there. So now I can simply click on Play, after, of course, understanding the risks that come with playing modded Minecraft. So here I have Minecraft 1.12.2 and I'll just go into a random world right now and show you that I have Doomsday up and running. As you can see I'm right over here we have the Doomsday logo and I can open up Doomsday as well. I'll show you how to use it in a second but first I'll show you the injection method. So one of the best parts of Doomsday Client is that you can inject it. As you can see, I have Minecraft 1.12.2 right over here. This is completely vanilla and I don't have anything injected right now. I can now simply open up the Doomsday Client and it'll locate the Minecraft process as you can see. Then I can click on this big blue inject button and that'll inject Doomsday Client into Minecraft. And once that's been done, I can just go into single player in this case of course and then now as you can see doomsday will be enabled as well so it doesn't matter how you really enable doomsday you can also use it as a fabric or even forge mod um, I'm not sure if it supports legacy fabric but oh well either way it'll all work in the exact same way and right now I'll show you guys how to use this also, the reason I have the default Steve skin and not my regular skin is because of Minecraft verification issues with Azure. Um, this might not ring a single bell if you're watching this video a while after it was published. Anyways, it there's just been some Minecraft connection issues and it's unable to retrieve my skin for right now. Anyways, to use Doomsday Client, you can simply press on the right shift button on your keyboard and it'll open up the click GUI area. In this click GUI, you can simply find all the utilities that this client has. You can click on them just like this to turn them on and you can click on them just like that to turn them off again. Now with most of these utilities you can right click on them and you'll get a little bit of a customization menu. As you can see they all have unique customizations and some of them have more customizations than others. Anyways for these utilities You'll notice that enabling them is going to be listing them up in the top right corner and there's also a doomsday logo on my screen as well. That is all part of this client's HUD or heads up display. Basically what that does is display a bunch of things on your screen. And if you don't actually want these things to show up on your screen then you can simply turn off the HUD and now 
as you can see, I can close out of here and there's not going to be anything on my screen, even if I have modules enabled, but I can still, of course, use the Doomsday Client. Anyways, in this area, we also have the GUI, which is basically this area customization menu. It's not very big, but what this does allow you to do is to set the keybind for this place. So as I said, it is by default set the right shift, which you can also see. However, if you want to change it, then you can do so through this module right over here. Now, the great thing about these utilities is that almost every single one of them allows you to set a keybind, as you can see. They're a little hidden right there, but as you can see, they almost all of them allow a keybind. So to actually change the keybinds, you can simply click on that little box and then press any key on your keyboard and it'll be set as the keybind. You can click on the box once again and then press on delete and that'll remove the keybind, as you can see. Or you can press on the box and then, of course, set it to something else. Anyways, basically, that was that. But as you can see, there are some more tabs in this Click GUI area. First off, we have the Configs tab. This allows you to create, manage, and save configurations. So say you play a specific game mode a lot or you do a specific thing and you have a specific setup of utilities and custom settings just like this maybe right so you can save those multiple times and then load them depending on the situation you're in and that can be done with the config manager over here you can also import configs by downloading them from online maybe ones that other people made but do of course watch out with that generally downloading things from online, obviously, right? Anyways, then we also have a friends tab over here. This actually allows you to add Doomsday Client internal friends by simply entering their gamer tag. And now there is also a self-destruct mode. As you can see, the default keybind of this is L. Of course, you can change that. And basically what self-destruct does is completely remove the client from your game. If you are using this client as maybe a forge mod or as an installation, then the self-destruct mode won't really work that well. Well, it will work, it'll remove the client from your game, but it'll still be in your game's files, of course, right? Because you're using it as a mod in the mod folder. Anyways, by using it as an injection client, using the self-destruct mode and ejecting it from Minecraft will completely remove it from your game, which is, of course, great and is one of the many perks of this being an injection client. Anyways, there's some more custom options over here if you do wish to use those. But basically for right now, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.